A lot of our allies in Europe do a lot of business with Iran, so I wonder what your thoughts are about how you further tighten the financial pressure on Iran in particular, if it also means economic pain for a lot of our allies. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting question. Um, one of the problems, not specifically on this issue, just in general, that, uh, that um, uh, let's put it this way, money trumps um, peace sometimes. <laughs> In other words, commercial interests are very powerful interests throughout the world. Ukrainians now, we think, have lost 400,000 men killed. Part of the issue in convincing people to put sanctions on a specific country is to convince them that it's in the world's interest that they forego their own financial interest. And um, John, that's why sometimes it's tough to get uh, tough economic sanctions on countries. And I'm not making any comment about any particular country, but you, you touched on a very interesting point. You're free, and freedom is beautiful. And, uh, you know, it'll take time to restore chaos and order, but we order out of chaos, but we will. Yeah, John. For the sake of the Palestinians who suffer, for the sake of the Israelis who are under attack, we must stop the terror. I call upon all nations to do everything they can to stop these terrorist killers. Thank, Thank you. you. Now watch this drive. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. It fooled me, we can't get fooled again. <laughs>